Excellent. Uh, thank you for having us here in the desert in uh, outside San Diego. Well, a little bit more than outside San Diego, <laughs> a couple hours away from San Diego. And we're here to test drive the new DV11, which is a very, very important car for the company, right? It is, yeah. So, uh, actually, I was here in 2003 to drive in the DV9. Ah. And it was an event also set of, of outside San Diego, and we drove through here and all that. So, but it's been a while. And then the DV10, it was just for the movie, right? Correct, yeah, just for the James Bond movie. Yeah. So, tell us a little bit about uh, the car before we go out driving. We already drove it from San Diego here, and it's it's powerful, but it's smooth, it's mm -hmm. elegant, it's pretty much everything. So tell us a little bit about what, what's in, in this car, what makes it so special. So this is a quite a significant step on from DB9. Um, it has all new suspension, front and rear. Yeah. New V12 5.2 litre engine with twin turbos, produces 600 horsepower and 516 foot-pounds of torque of 1500 RPM. Yeah has a new electrical architecture um, which allows us to have things like keyless entry, keyless go, electrical steering column, a new TFT screen that changes character when you change. Uh, yeah, I noticed that the controls are much easier, but everything is really intuitive, like you find it really quickly. Yeah, that's right. The uh, It's a new body structure, also developed in-house. It is 21 kilos kilograms lighter than DB9 and everything is aluminium right yes yep yeah, the oh, the body structure the body structure is all aluminium yep yeah. we use twice as many formed aluminium panels in DB11 over DB9 which just allows us to optimize interior space yeah and get a bit more package space and especially in the rear one one notice the little detail I guess that I noticed is that the key fob doesn't go in here that's, anymore that's right so that's what the electrical architecture gives us is a keyless go so yeah. here you can either have um, if you push and hold the yeah, now we start have the button yeah and we have the key here only here but you don't have to put it anywhere it's no, just no, be it's there. Just, yeah. so if you push and hold the start button it does a quiet start which is great if you start early morning living in a residential area yeah. or you can just push it and let go and it does the normal Aston Martin theatre yeah, let's start do it. Up, so. oh you don't have to hold it just like that no, no, okay just, uh, so it's soft start so, just so let's go for a, a quick drive here around uh, this beautiful uh, golf course All the controls are now digital and like even though you have repetitive you can do it from there yeah the, you the can wheel do it too, right there. that's correct yeah. and then we have, have reached your destination turn them. so it's the first time we have electric power steering on db9 yeah that's difficult to 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 adjust in this kind of high performance cars right yeah. because you want something that it doesn't feel that artificial that's right so db9 had um, hydraulic power steering DB11 has electric power steering. Yeah. Um, spent a lot of time trying to get the steering feel into the car. It has 13 to 1 steering ratio compared to DB9, which is 17 to 1. So you need less hand wheel angle to get response out of the car. So that, that allows us to get more agility feeling in the car in corners and then working with the dampers um, can make the car just feel a bit more connected. Okay. But when you're driving straight, it's just a bit more comfort in the car. Smooth, comfort, yes. smoother. Yeah. yeah. So you get uh, three, three driving modes, right? Correct. It's GT is the standard mode, Sport and then Sport Plus. And that's the same for the damping and the powertrain. Okay. With the powertrain, the um, throttle response, gearbox, and exhaust mapping changes to give a bit more character. This car has, even though there are like a lot of sports, luxury cars, super sports cars, this is on its own category, I think, right? I mean, like, obviously there's competition, but like, this car is both very elegant, it has all the tradition from the James Bond movies, so that uh, puts you in a different level, no? It does, yeah. The car's got quite a big breadth of character, and also, as we've just talked about, with the dynamics and powertrain modes, it enhances, you know, the character of the car further than any of the competition. Yeah. So um, I heard that you've been working with Aston Martin for about 28 years? That's correct, 28 years. So a lot has changed in that those time, both in the technology, design and all that. But uh, I mean, Aston Martin obviously has a long 
history, but this car is very important because it started in your second century, right? Exactly, yes. The first car we're delivering under the second century plan is the demonstration and completion of the first phase. And from now on, we'll start to bring new models in that will then get sportier as well. Okay. So we'll drive great differentiation between our models as well, not only from dynamics point of view, but the exterior service and design. Okay, so let's hear a little bit. Like I don't know, 10% throttle and the car is going 85 on miles an hour. I mean, it's already like so much power available. Yeah, it's also got a lot of torque, say 516 foot pounds of torque yeah. and 1500 RPM. So the engine's actually um, not an AMG engine, it's Aston Martin's engine, designed and developed in house and yeah. built in our Cologne engine plant in Germany. Okay, so this car completes, uh, I mean, there's like a new, what's the whole lineup now for Aston Martin? Do you have the we still have the, the Vanquish, V8 Vantage, yeah. the Rapide and the Vanquish. So we've just launched a new Vanquish S, yeah. which is a more sports GT focus. Mm -hmm. And um, we've done the unique models for Vanquish, the Gato, yeah. GTA. And, and they already announced that there's a crossover coming up, right? Yes, there will be. There's a new oh. plant just opened in St. Athens in yeah. Wales in the UK. Maybe you have another 28 years to work with them. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> That'll be a long time. Yeah. The good thing is we've got a lot of exciting products coming up. So yeah. there's a, you know, it's a good feeling in the company, a lot of excitement, a lot of challenges. Yeah. But it'd be good to be involved in the delivery of these Yeah, but cars. hopefully not 28 years. Like you reserve some time off to, to, to enjoy them on the road. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you very much. It was a pleasure driving. A very short uh, conversation here, but like, Beautiful, beautiful car. Thank you very much. I'll sleep, okay? Yeah. Such a great road. It reminds me of the Angeles Crest. <laughs>